In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to show you one of my favorite little simple airway concepts out of spread. Um, it's just a really, really good little two by two spread passing concept. Going to force people to get out of Mabel coverage, which is pretty much the meta this year when most people want to play defense is either man to man or Mabel. And this uh, concept that I'm about to show you in this video is going to help you beat both of those coverages. So if you're new to the channel, I do want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that. Also, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that I have a full Arizona Air Raid offensive guide in our Patreon membership. Now, my Patreon membership is only $10 a month, but the cool part is you don't only get one ebook, you actually get all of my Madden 22 ebooks. I've got 15 of them in there right now. You also get any exclusive updates to those ebooks while your subscription is active, and any new ebooks that we release while your subscription is active. So again, it's 10 bucks a month. You can cancel whatever you want. Great way to support the channel, but it's also a great way, in my opinion, uh, to be able to become a better Madden player. So if you're interested in signing up for that, there's going to be a link in the description that you can click on and you can go check that out. Now, guys, we're going to do this out of any 2x2 two two spread. It's pretty much all hot routes. Um, I would advise if you're going to be running some spread that you would want to have either a slot apprentice or a hot route master. Um, it just makes your life a lot easier with some of the concepts. You don't have to do that. Um, there are other routes, so I'll show it to you in this video. Um, we'll just show it to you out of uh, the shallow cross. But, it's it's again, it, I would rather you hot route uh, a post we can use an in route if you need to, or a crossing route out of like Y cross, but it does work better if you just have a ability to put a, po a, a slot apprentice post out there. So the concept is really, really simple. Um, and ideally what you wanna do is you wanna run this with the ball um, to the right hash mark or the running back on the short side of the field. The cool part about spread is you could motion the running back this way and you could also have them over here. So you can kind of work both sides if you want to. But anyway, the concept's real simple. We're going to put the circle receiver on an out. We're going to put the uh, triangle receiver on a hitch. And we're going to put the outside square receiver on a zig. This is basically the concept. Um, and again, if you want to, I would put this guy on a, uh, a, a post route uh, just because it helps pull zones uh, pretty significantly. But anyways, what you'll see here is this wheel is going to be wide open to the running back and is probably, honestly, the best blitz beater uh, in the game. So if they want to blitz you out of Mike Blitz 3, which a lot of people, if you run spread, they are going to try to send pressure because you they, they're like, well, you don't have very good pass protection, so I'm going to send some pressure at you to try to get you to make a read. Well, if the linebacker goes to the left at the snap of the ball, then you're going to have this wheel wide open over here. I needed to low ball that. Let me show you that again. Uh, and then also, if if their if their linebacker goes, if their linebacker does anything except run to the running back, the running back will be wide open. If the if they don't, um, or if they do run to the running back, then you're going to have your hitch or your zig on the backside against pressure. So here, you know, they do something different. So we're just going to low ball that. You see how open that really is. Now let me show you that with um, let me show you that with hard flats. This is kind of most people won't blitz. I mean, most people will blitz spread like this occasionally, but they really don't sit in this long because spread can just carve up this coverage. I mean, they just spread destroys this blitz. And you see, there's the low ball. If you low ball it, it's a lot easier to cut it off and user catch it than if you don't. Okay, so that's kind of the the, the uh, cover three blitz. Now, let's say, for example, that their user says, I'm taking that away. I'm not letting you throw the running. Well, now your whole middle of the field is wide open. If you want to put this guy on a slant, you certainly can do that. Um, the slant's not a bad route either. So you can mix up a slant or a post or a deep dig. But let's say they run to the right. Well, now you're looking here and notice that that hitch is wide open unless they have a yellow zone over there. Well, if they have a yellow zone over there, then what that's going to look like is this, and you're still going to have an advantage because when you look to that left side, your uh, little uh, little zig, what I like about the zig routes as opposed to out routes, um, as a pull route, is a, number one, they're decent against man, 
But number two, um, when we snap this ball, what you're going to notice is he's just going to curl up on the sideline just like a flat route would, and you see he'll get up field for about 10 to 15 yards. So if there's no hard flat, you can throw that. If there is a hard flat, then you can go to the other thing. So you kind of have them in a position where it's really hard to guard everything on this play. And that's what makes spread so underrated and so good, especially this year, because the zones just can't, they can't cover everything, as you can see. You're either going to have your hitch or your zig. Um, you know, they're going to have to go to, what they're going to have to do, honestly, is they're going to have to go to some kind of cover two hard flat, and then they're going to send pressure out of that, so it's going to look like this. But now they've got a user over here on the right side. And if they use over here on the right side, they've got to make a decision. Am I going to guard the running back or am I going to guard the quick slant or the post, okay? And if they're going to send pressure out of this, they're going to have to make that decision relatively quickly because this whole middle of the field is going to be open if they choose to go to the running back. So typically they can't cover both. They, they, they basically just can't cover both. Now, man coverage is going to cover this play a little bit better. Uh, but to be honest, you're still going to have some stuff. So if they send man pressure against you, it's, it's basically the same read. Um, the left side of the field, if they press you, is kind of eliminated. Both of those routes are going to struggle to get open against man coverage. So if you're getting a lot of man coverage, what I would tell you to do is to go ahead and take this guy over here, especially if they're pressing you, put this guy on a fade, and then put this guy on a zig, okay, if you're getting a lot of man coverage. And what you'll see is if, if we see that, obviously the wheel is the most effective route on this play for man and zone. So they have to use for the wheel route. So, I mean, even even in that situation, you saw, like, this guy's cross man on him. Typically, that's a good thing for wheel routes. Like, typically, a wheel route is going to defend a lot, uh, significantly better if they're cross man as opposed to if they're just kind of straight up man coverage. But the problem is you've got him so out leveraged that it's really hard for him to get out there. So, again, you just see, oh, there's so much grass over here, so I'm going to take that grass. Real simple, real easy read. The air raid is all about looking and finding grass and using the spacing to be able to have uh, effectiveness. So what that's going to then force them to do is, again, they're going to be in a situation where they're going to have to go over here. So they're going to have to go to the right, okay? And then this is where, you know, you can kind of start to play a little chess with them from a route combination perspective, but if you know they're running man-to-man, -man, you can run a concept like this on the backside here, and what you'll notice is that this post will get wide open over the middle of the field. And then, of course, like I said, if they're, if they're shading their coverage up, or if they don't get a jam, then this zig to the slot, if you know it's man, um, will be wide open. You'll see right there, wide open zig. Zigs are really good out of spread, really good out of spread because it forces them to press their coverage. Well, if they press their coverage, and especially if they shade down their coverage, you're going to have a little bit of a shot play uh, within this fade. What you'll see is this fade right here. Um, this fade right here, if he gets a step, I will tell you that I throw a lot of touchdowns on this play. You could do this from wide. You, I mean, you, you got a stock fade on this play, so you could just leave the fade stock, and you'll find a lot of success. But again, you do something like this here, and what you're going to notice here is, oh, he gets, ah, I should get release here. But what you'll notice is he's going to get a step off the press, and you should be in a position where you can throw that. Now, again, they have to go outside immediately, which will affect their pressure. Their pressure won't be as good because they're not going to be able to hover that gap so tight because there's nobody over there to guard the wheel. So if that's the case, you can just take the wheel. But anyway, I do want to show this route. So you just fade, lob it up over the top, do a little swerve. Oftentimes, if you have deep out elite, that's going to be a good, a good read for you, which is then going to force them to have to shade up which is going to open up the zig. So that's kind of how you can utilize both of those routes right there uh, to be very effective. Now, in the event that, let's say, for example, they go with some man, but they're going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of something like this, okay? Or let's just say they put purple. So I think this is one of the better coverages in the game um, if they if they do something like this. Well, your wheel is still going to be there for you, and then so they're still going to have to choose between the post and the wheel. Typically, they're going to choose this uh, this post. And they're gonna they're gonna try to rely on that right there to, to guard it. And I'm just telling you from experience, it's not gonna guard it if you can learn how to throw these wheels 
and I've talked about this before on the channel, but if you can learn how to throw these wheels, you will have so much more success because now they have to go over there. And that's and, and you're also still in the same situation on the backside with those two receivers. Um, you're still in that situation that hasn't changed. Uh, but I will say this is a much better coverage. It's probably the best way to defend this, to be honest um, with you. Now, what you can do to open up the open up the routes is you can again do your zig, do your fade. Now, if you'll see here, if they press you, take your shot. You know, take your shot over the top. So that's kind of a little bit of a cat and mouse game you can play with them, which is then going to force them to shade their coverage up and shading up their coverage. It will defend this a little better because they do have a purple zone over there. Um, but again, the other two primary routes on this play, which is the which is the uh, post of the tight end and the wheel, uh, they're going to be wide open. So again, here you do something like this, low ball, and that's kind of a bad throw, but you see the idea. So you're going to kind of force them to have to at least think they're going to have to protect that. And again, you know, you're not going to be. I mean, yeah, it's going to be in every coverage, but it's going to be some coverage is better than others. This coverage right here in particular does do a decent job against this. However, you can audible around, you can change things and, and, and be able to, you know, kind of mess with them a little bit. But again, you do have, no matter what you do with this play, that tight end route over the middle, is, it's got to be user. So they have to use the tight end. And pretty much, I mean, they're, they're going to almost on instinctively just the way this game works. Um, they're going to know, like, I need to be concerned with the wheel. So if they go to the right, just like we showed you earlier, if the user goes right, then this tight end post is all day. I mean, that's all day. You, you're going to aggressive catch that, and that's going to be fine. You're going you're gonna to hit that nine times out of ten. Now, in a situation where they're just, you know, they're just going to run that coverage over and over again, there's other plays in the air raid offense that will beat this, which one of those is, um, you know, something as simple as taking this backside player and putting him on a slant. I mean, it, it could literally be that simple, and then you're going to put this guy on, you know, I would put a skinny post over the top of this. So you do something like this, if you will, and then you could have this concept right here. Or if you wanted to, you could still do the zig. So you could do the zig post. This is a great read. Um, the reason why is because there's nobody in the middle of the field. So now the middle of the field player has to decide which post he's going to guard. So, you know, there's ways to beat that coverage. It's probably one of the better ones for this route concept, but there's so much other things that we can do out of the spread that is going to be advantageous to us, especially if they press us. If they, if they want to press us out of spread, there are so many one-play scores we're going to have all game long. So... Anyways, guys, that's a little air raid concept for you. Excited to talk about spread more. Um, I've got a full ebook on it, and I've been running a little bit more two by two spread and just kind of building off some concepts. And just really enjoy the offense. So, if you want to learn my full air raid offense, there's a link in the description below. Remember, the Patreon gets you access to every ebook. So, I've got 15 offensive and defensive guides. I've also got a ton of updates in there for you. So, we just released one last night on a defensive update for defending bunch tight end. So again, if you want to get better, I'd really encourage you to join the Patreon. It's only $10 a month, so it's super, super cheap, and you can cancel that whenever you'd like. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below, and uh, you can head on down there and click that link and go check out the membership.